Shalom, call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom, to the Akiam and to the Akwaf, that will be your brothers and sisters, Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother, Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp, back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. In this lesson today, I'm going to be going into um, how that we are uh, the body of Yahweh Shai, all right? How that we are sheep, okay? We are lambs, okay? And we are to be in holy conversation, all right? Those of us that follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth, okay? We're supposed to be in holy conversation and... Um, yeah, we are but worms and sheep As we are uh, referred to uh, by the Lord in the scripture So I'm saying that to say this So I was watching a lesson just now um, uh, The elder brother uh, Karataza Okay, uh, he put up a video entitled uh, it's, it's a re-upload I believe I want to say I believe it's from off of Vocab Malone's channel Okay, and the, the video is called re uh, our our encounter with um, GMS AZ, meaning Arizona Israelites, okay, and um, um, you can find this video on the uh, the Elder Brother Karataza uh, page channel, which is um, GMS Vegas Sit Down 144K, if I remember correctly. Um, and the brother was uh, uh, doing a video on uh, what was happening at that uh, location. Uh, vocab, Heyman Malone rolled up on the uh, GMS brothers out there in Arizona. All right, and they was looking uh, to try to trap brothers up in their words. Okay, so this video is to, um, all right, to uh, put it out there, you know, that our brothers must be uh, very careful, you know, and what we say, how we uh, go about the word of the Lord. You know, we, we must let the words of the Lord speak, you know, let the words, uh, let the scriptures come out, okay? So at the end of the day, you would be blameless. The scripture speaks about not doing anything to have the ministry to be blamed, okay? And this is not, this video is not uh, directed at any, at any brother or any specific uh uh, camp is just edification, okay, through the Spirit that we must uh, give answer by way of the Holy Spirit, okay, and um, as the scriptures say, to be wise as a serpent and harmless as doves, man. So I'm going to start off with that scripture right there, okay, real quick. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, and verse 16. This is red letter to our Lord, Yahawashai, which Yahawashai said, it says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep. In the midst of wolves Okay, so we are in the midst of wolves Remember, this is not our kingdom the, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked This is their rulership So we are sheep in the midst of wolves Okay, the Lord says Send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves Be ye therefore wise as serpents And harmless as doves Okay, so we are to be wise as serpents Okay so serpent is a serpent is a very intelligent beast, man. He know when to strike. He know when, you know, when to move. Okay, um, and harmless as doves. Okay, all right. Going back to the scripture that uh, uh, not doing anything that the ministry would be blamed. Okay, let me see if I could grab that scripture real quick because that's what Haman Malone. This that's what this guy. That's what he's looking for because he's the adversary. Okay. Um, hold on, let me see. Uh, let me see if I can get, get that scripture, uh, real quick. 
I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, um, I wanna, uh, inject that scripture if I could find it real quick. Okay, yeah, this is, uh, Corinthians, Second Corinthians chapter 6 and verse uh, 3. This is the Apostle Paul that says, Giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. Okay? So the guy, one of the guys, because I believe Okay, I Malone wasn't there at the time. I believe he, he stepped away or he wasn't there at the moment. But some other guys who, 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 uh, who he sent, I guess. All right? Um, one of them said something to the effect of, "If you could, I bet, I bet if you could crucify me, you would." He said something like that. So they they be putting things out there to try to have you to say to get you to respond uh, carnally, okay? But that's just that's just the devil, man. That's 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 Satan. That's the work of the adversary. That's what he does. You see, so brothers, uh, you know, we just we just have to remember to stay in the spirit, man. You know. Uh, um, verse uh, and once again this is not directed at any brother or anyone or any camp okay we just have, this is just a reminder for the edification sake that we must not do anything okay uh, that the ministry not be blamed it says giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed so yes we are to defend the gospel uh, we are defenders of the gospel so if you come up we're going to defend the gospel to the best of our ability to the spirit okay the, the scriptures tell you how the lord uh makes 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 uh us to triumph okay always man all right through the spirit okay if anybody comes up you know but at the end of the day we got to remain in the spirit because the scriptures tell you um saint john the sixth chapter and the 63rd verse that is the spirit that quickeneth, meaning to make you alive man all right and the words of the lord man when you're dealing, dividing it, the, dividing the word of truth, okay, rightly, rightly dividing the word of truth, as the scriptures say, all right, it's the spirit that does that, man. So you got to remain in the spirit. It's the spirit that quickeneth the word profited. It's like here, the flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. You see, so yeah, I'm gonna read it one more time. Second Corinthians chapter six verse three, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. Right, so we gotta remember to keep our composure, okay? Because what they try to do is try to draw you out. Because this guy, uh, vocab, he don't, he don't, he don't got nothing else, man. If, if he not rolling up on the Hebrew Israelites, these different camps, he don't got nothing, man. He don't even get no views if it's not uh, really uh, 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 him dealing uh, uh, directly with, uh, with, 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 with the Israelite camps, man. Okay, mainly GMS. Okay, because that's what 100% truth is at. That's why he always coming up. Okay, but at the end of the day, this man is an adversary, man. He's looking for something to trap you up in, in your words that they, they would be able to use it later. You don't need a, a, a long, drawn-out speech. All, the only thing they need is snippets of you saying something like what the guy was trying to do, get get the guy to say something uh, 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 carnally, and 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 you that they're gonna use that later on so we must remember to remain in the spirit all right this is this is an exhortation to remain in the spirit and be as our lord say okay wise as serpents and harmless as doves man uh, not giving no offense in anything that the ministry sh will be blamed okay but um yeah at the end of the day you know the truth hurts man as they say the truth hurts because you know <laughs> Let me get Galatians um, real quick. Galatians, all right? What is Galatians? I want to say, uh, what it is? Galatians 420s. Hold on, Slacky. I think it's 4. Let me see back. Okay, that real quick. Uh, I think it's a uh, book of Galatians. Slacky.
Uh, okay, let me type in it. It's kind of elude me at the moment. Phone, why is doing this? Bear with me. Uh, look, I know it's Galatians. I'm taking four six. Have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Four sixteen. I was already there, man. Galatians chapter four, verse sixteen. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? All right, the truth hurts, man. This just truth cuts them, cuts these these Edomites. All right, all right. Vocab Haman Malone. All right, <laughs> these they, they cut by by the word of the Lord, man. All right, this word is is a double a sharp sword, man. Okay, and they and they they, they cut by the word, and this is the reason why he he's an adversary, man. Okay, he only looking to trap you up in your words. Okay. They always coming up with questions and their questions always getting answered. What is it's about time they start to answer some of the questions that we have, man. Okay? I'm in the spirit of when this guy roll up, why he need to answer my questions. Because this man has been from very to a lot of different camps. Alright, and they answer his questions. They answer his questions all the time. He need to give he need to get asked a series of questions when he rolled up. Okay? He need to be asked a series of questions, man. And, and we know through the spirit he can't answer them and they're going to deflect and try to go round them, um, around, around them, okay? It says, Galatians 4, 16, Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Okay? The scriptures say you can, you, 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 cannot, you, you can do nothing against the truth but before the truth, man. All right? And this truth is, 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 is cutting them, man. Okay? Um, let me get that in Hebrews real quick. Uh, and this, this lesson is um, all of the spirit. It's an organic lesson to the spirit and power of the Abba Shimei Roshai. Okay, uh, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. It says, For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a deceiver of, of the thoughts and intents of the heart. All right? With this, with, with, with this truth, man, it's no going around it. They can't get around this truth. Okay, the word of the Lord is tried seven times. So it's nothing that the adversary, okay, or the devil is going to be able to do to get around these words, man. Okay, let's go to that in the book of um, uh, Vocab. Malone is not going to be able to get around these, these scriptures, man, in no kind of way. Okay, because the spirit ain't dealing with him, man. All right, this is uh, the Lord not dealing with vocab. All right. Psalm chapter 12 and verse 6. The words of the Lord are pure words. A silver tried in a furnace of, of, of earth. Purified seven times. These words are purified seven times, man. You see? So no matter what kind of trickery or connery, uh, conneriness he try, if that's a word, try to come up with against the scriptures, it's not going to work, man. Okay? It's not going to work. All right? At the end of the day, it ain't going to work, all right? And you know what the scriptures say, uh, okay? If, 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 if this be, if this, all right, if this work be the work of men, it's going to come to naught. But if it be of the most high, okay, you're not going to be able to overthrow it unless you find yourself to be fighting against the most high, man. These are the words of the Lord. So it doesn't matter what they do, they ain't gonna, at the end, they, they, they're not going to win, man. They're going to lose. They're fighting a losing battle because they, they're really fighting against the words of the Lord. Okay, you can't come up against the, word, the, the, the Lord, man. You're going to lose miserably, you see. So at the end of the day, we know they're fighting a losing battle, but the point being is that, you know, we got to stay in the spirit, remain in the spirit, and keep it scriptural, you know, dealing, dealing the scriptures. You know, whenever, whenever, uh, whenever anybody rolls up, just, you know, deal out of the scriptures, man. Okay, that's where you stay on, uh, you be uh, safeguarded and stay on the, 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 the safe side of things that you uh, not give any offense 
uh, 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 having the, the ministry to be blamed. You see, so yeah, I just want to really, uh, I just want to really put that out there. All right, I just finished from watching the brother video, the brother Karatazar, the elder brother from uh, uh, the Vegas uh, camp. Once again, this channel is uh, GMS Vegas Sit Down 144K. Uh, okay, subscribe to the brother's channel. And uh, uh, if if I get a chance, Lord willing, I, I'll try to put that link in the description box so you could uh, watch the video for yourself. But yeah, this 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 guy, man, he he keep coming up, man. But the, the days is coming where you know all that is gonna be done away with, man. Because the Most High ain't gonna put up with that for, for uh, forever. All right, we're coming into the times where uh, uh, judgment, okay, is, is, is coming, man. Judgment is coming to the earth. So all the, the little uh, charades and uh, 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 contention that they be doing to come up against this word, that's not going. That's not going to last forever, man. At some point, the Most High can start to to deal with that. As a matter of fact, he's dealing with it right now through through us, through the scriptures, through the Spirit. Oh, um, um. As a matter of fact, let me let me grab a scripture that comes to mind. Okay, all right. Second uh, Corinthians, what it is, ten and four. All right, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds. Right, right. The Most High speaks to his men. Okay, right. It says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds. So, w when we speak this word, at the end of the day. All right, things, things, things are happening in the earth, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So the, a, a, a mighty work is already being done. Okay, a, a mighty work is already being done, man. Verse five it says, Second Corinthians chapter ten and verse five it says, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Mashiach. So. This word is pulling down strongholds, man. All right, this is pulling down strongholds, and and that's 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 what they mad about. They mad that they seeing the the elect being gathered together. Okay, all right. The scripture speaks about uh, 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 fear falling upon those that see uh, see them standing up. At Revelation the eleventh chapter. Okay, and 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 and, a, and part of that video was going into you know brothers giving glorification to the Lord, and saluting, you know. And then they was they was they was dazzled by that man, you see, worried, afraid, okay. And that's that's in the scripture, man. Let me grab that real quick. Okay, Revelation the eleventh chapter. Um, Revelation the eleventh chapter. And um, the eleven verse it says, and after three days and a half. The spirit of life from the Most High entered into them. That three days and a half represents, okay, the 350 years that we were, were, uh, were in captivity, man. Okay, from around about uh, uh, 1619 to about uh, 1969, uh, 1970. Okay, it says after three days and a half, the spirit of life. Okay, when you read the book of Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, it speaks about the valley of dry bones, man. Those bones, okay, meaning we, we lost our heritage. We was we was we was in a dead state spiritually, man. But the Lord uh, pour water upon those uh, bones, man. To tell you that in uh, uh, the scriptures tell you, I will, I will pour I will pour water upon the dry ground, man. Okay, meaning this truth, this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay, the scripture speaks about we waking up to who we are in the latter days in the land of our captivity, man. Okay, remembering ourselves who we are. Okay, that's what's happening. The great awakening, man. All right, you can read that in Isaiah, also Isaiah the forty-fourth chapter. Okay, and it says after three days and a half, the spirit of life. Okay, from the Most High, which is the prophecy, Ezekiel the thirty-seventh chapter, Isaiah the forty-fourth chapter, entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Right. So in that video where brothers were saluting, okay, that that within itself, <laughs> you know. That would in itself, man, have them, they shaken, they worried. Okay? Because see, all of these things is prophesied. Great fear fall upon them which saw them. You see? So all we got to do is continue to preach the word, man, because at this, at, 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 while we do this, the Most High is doing a marvelous work, man, in the earth. Prophecy is coming to pass. Okay? So at the end of the day, we have to just, 
you know, speaking of myself first and foremost, okay, remember to, to, to remain in the spirit, okay, and, um, and deal in the scriptures, man, especially when you're dealing with the adversary, okay, because that's, 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 that's what they're all about. They're all about deceit. They're all about trying to trap you up in your words, just like how they did our Lord. Always was trying to trap him up in his words, but they couldn't because he was in the spirit. Okay, one of his titles is the Word of God. So he, he even Satan himself, okay, even Satan himself, when he tried to tempt the Lord, okay, the Lord, what did he do? He was cutting him with the scriptures. Okay, man shall not live by bread alone. Okay, you see, the, the, you know, you're going to worship the Lord, thy power, and him only. The Lord was cutting him with the scriptures, man, roughly paraphrasing. So that's what we got to do. We got to use the scriptures, deal in the scriptures. You see, given no thing that the ministry uh, will be blamed. So just, uh, just wanted to put that out there that, you know, uh, we ought to remain in the spirit, you know. And we know at the end of the day, once we remain in the spirit, uh, let me get a scripture real quick that I think I could close out with. Uh, I think it's, uh, no, it's uh, 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, the 14th chapter. I want to say, uh, I think it's um, Salakia. Uh, First Corinthians. Or is uh, Salakia. It might be the second chapter, starting at 14. Bear with me here. I think it's uh, Second Corinthians chapter 2. Second Corinthians chapter 2, I want to say. Second Corinthians chapter 2, beginning at verse 14. It says, Now thanks be unto Yahweh, which is the Heavenly Father's name, which always causes, causes us to triumph in Mashiach and make it manifest the Savior of his knowledge by us in every place. To Tawada Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? Alright? The Lord make, make it us to triumph, man. Okay? Whenever they walk up to the camps. All right, we triumph in the name of the Lord to the spare and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Verse 15 it says, For we are unto the Most High a sweet savor of Mashiach in them that are saved, and to them that perish. To the one we are the savor of death unto death, and to the other the savor of life unto life. And who is sufficient, sufficient for these things? For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as, but as of sincerity. Okay, we are in sincerity, man. Okay, truth and in the spirit. Okay, the Most High is, is a spirit and seeketh such to worship him in spirit and in truth. Okay, it says, for we, for we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as of sincerity, but as of God in the sight of God, speak we in Hamashiach. So we're we dealing in truth, man, real truth. We ain't dealing with uh, contention and, and strife, all right, just to, uh, you know, you know how a lot of these... Uh, uh, false prophets, you know, and um, uh, Haman Maloney, he, 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 he's the accuser of the brethren, man. He's looking for something to trap you up in your words, okay? But we ain't preaching for strife and contention. We preaching the word of the Lord in truth, okay? All right? And that's what it's about. So we have to remain in the spirit and, um, you know, <laughs> be, 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 be circumspect. Uh, Cause we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. All right, but we are defenders of the gospel. But while doing it, we got to remain in the spirit. Just wanted to put that out there, Lord willing, you were edified. On to the next one, Shalom.